Okay, here's our second comp camping at Hamanasset. Uh, we're in spot Podunk 12, that marked on the ground. And that goes from there all the way over over to this spot right right there and then it's about 20 paces deep i'm gonna put it on zoom in now now we have our first of all we have lawn darts they're not like the old ones they don't have points on them so you can't get hurt darn it and we got our gazebo set up with the picnic table and covers inside. We got these beautiful uh, cots that we actually use for a tent, but we put them out here to sleep on. These are from Timu. They were $40 a piece. Very nice. And we come over here and here's our setup here. We have, this is a three in one Cuisinart uh, cooker. It does, it'll grill. And it also, sorry about the eggs, but it has a flat top and then also a barbecue stone or a, a stone for pizza to shoot in there. We've got our table set up here and underneath it's got storage for all kinds of goodies. Nice table. And here we have our boxes, our waterproof boxes from Home Depot. They were like 20 some dollars a piece, but they're waterproof. We bring a four gallon can with a or a bottle with water and one of these and it pumps the water right out then in our kitchen area we have an ice maker set up uh, this pulls out if we need it to coffee maker we have all of our utensils we've got a great little sink here made out of a salad bowl and i got water in there we got plenty of water some magnets to hold the knives and different things like that also have a light up in here and then underneath here a little shelf we got water underneath there this is a uh, a dc outlet that our um, cooler which i'll show you over here we got this awesome cooler this came from wayfair it's called a costway and it's uh, 70 quarts right now it's at 37 degrees 70 quarts but it holds um god i had 25 cans of beer in there and then all the other stuff so it works really well we have a, a small generator to help charge the batteries when the clouds are about and of course the pro the uh, grill runs off of propane which i have set up right here with a quick disconnect and this got it strapped in and then uh, in here, I have my two 100 amp hour batteries, my 2000 watt inverter, a charger, and several other items that I'm not quite done with yet. Out here we have the inverter. I have it coming out through here, and then I just hook it on. It goes back over the top of the camper instead of the hose hanging out. This is for charging the batteries either with shore power or the or the um, or the, the generator and then uh, up here is where I keep uh, the generator in this little uh, milk crate we got one of these we're probably gonna get something different it works very well um, uh, it's warm enough it rinses you off nice we brought a couple scooters with us charging those up we got a um, smokeless fire pit that we brought along and a bunch of camp chairs this one here is fantastic this was from amazon and it's just it's it rocks it's nice to sit in these were cheap just as extras those we originally got for tent camping we got two of them but they're fine when they're awesome when you're sitting sitting down in these chairs you got the nice height right here for your drinks by the campfire Let's see where we're at there and then these are rock backs they're really nice they're like fifty dollars a piece or something and then those little stools right there they're collapsible they go down to nothing but uh, they're nice just to grab and sit on real quick <clears throat> then of course as you come around we have i have a ladder actually underneath there i'll show you where that goes to access the solar on this side we got a pull out right here 
with all of our excess uh, utensils and cleaning supplies and things like that. Also, there's a light right in here when we need it. And then this locks up. And then in here, we have uh, our step and a step for my wife because she can't lift her leg that high. And then inside here, we have storage shelves. We got all of our, our gear, our extras. Um, this is a queen size bed. We got all the um, lights and everything that I can reach from laying down right there. And then I also have AC power here and then a, another light switch just temporary right there. Also have a little thermometer I put inside, some outlets, an outlet for that fan over there. Of course, we got the uh, ceiling fan in here. That space over there, I think, depends. We might put uh, one of those small air conditioners in. And then, uh, of course, you come around here. I'll step up so you can see. I have right now 300 watts of solar. Uh, and that's a bifacial panel right there. I'm going to get more. I'm going to try and get up as... I have enough room for... I have another one on order for up there 100 watt. And then 250 is right there so I can get the 500. And then if I need more, I'll just get a, a fold-up suitcase one. Um, I put this on here for the flag. And I forgot to bring it. And then we named our camper. And we call it the Driftwood. Hope you guys like this video. We're going to camp here at Hammond Asset a couple more times. Fantastic. I recommend it to anybody. The sites are big. It's clean. Uh, restrooms are close by. Showers. You can wash your... And then they have... Uh, you can wash your plates and stuff like that if you don't have a sink. And then they have fresh water over there also. And then this is just a little view of where we're at. You can get shaded. Or you can get wide open. Whatever you would like here. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hit the like button.